Hello and welcome to gameplay part 5 for Horizon Call of the Mountain. So, let's continue. So yeah, we were with this... This little thing over here. Ah, so what we gotta do is open this. Okay. Oh, ah, I don't even need to mess with that. I can just do this and just clicks in place so it doesn't go too far back this wheel, this got to adjust this annoying pesky cable again Ooh. there's a little thing to shoot Don't need to take that. Nope, I was meant to make it. You could go into a bit more places like that to look over the edge a bit. I understand them creating artificial boundaries so you don't fall. Just create for, I guess, a berry experience in terms of you not. Physics is really good though, to be fair. Yeah, it just create a better experience overall. But I would like it like when I say it one time this place was a life for the old ones. Until the machines came. Oh. What am I meant to do with this? No way I'm gonna be able to make it through that. Oh yes, that worked. <laughs> Thunder jaw still up there. Thought the wood was gonna break then. Don't think I can go up here. Do I need to actually destroy to do something? Press triangle, see what we got. Oh, I can climb here.
Smoke's up there. You know, and you can travel to Dawn's Grass from here, but I wonder if you can easily travel back. That's what I want to know. Okay, I can climb up there, anything collectible down here. Let's have a look at this beautiful world anyway. It makes a bit of noise when I touch it, but it doesn't actually do anything. It's the first time experiencing the vibration in the headset. Usually really it's just the controllers vibrating. If they did vibrate before, it wasn't this intense. Not that I must be able to pick that up. I've dropped it, I'm not grabbing that now, it's too much hassle. Nice to get it. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I forgot all about the pickaxe. The? I think they should let me destroy it with something else. Shouldn't have been that picky. Sorting out the strap, not wearing it. I should be able to look at them. I've never seen a machine swarm like that, and maybe that's what they did at Dawn's grasp. Got a grapple over here now. Ooh. 
to yet another climb pumpkin. Yeah, I think there's a bit too much climbing in here for my liking. Ooh. Shame we can't break them into really small pieces. Fire started now. Echo shell. Yeah, it seems very superficial in terms of the collectible, you know, the things to get that you have. Step closer. Right. And don't get me wrong, it's, it's an enjoyable VR experience so far, but it's not Half Life Alex. That's too much hassle to go down and get that. Uh. So yeah, the headset vibrated a lot then. He's a bit too far away for that one to prefer. I'm super low on health. How can I get some more health? No apples here for me to eat. Ooh, that's so close. That was a big one. Did that twice now. I guess no one's gonna try and help me.
Okay. Yes. Yes. That was close. I don't have the most health, but still doing pretty well. Just keep doing loads of arrows. I mean, still prefer the over those flying ones where I have to beat like three or four of them. I'm trying to adjust the heads there again. Okay. Ooh, that was intense. I guess I'm gonna take a piece off him. Or well, maybe not. Can I? Nope, it won't let me get that close to the thunder jaw. Oh, it's just arrows. I need some apples and pears. Shem's no bananas, I prefer bananas. Ooh, <laughs> there's my apples. And some arrows as well. That's better. Om nom 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 nom. Fancy an apple now. <laughs> in your life, Orid. Not any more than this. I better see what else I can find. And what target am I flicking it? Oh, that. Pretty cool. This better take me up to some answers. See my hands are messing up now that I'm going up really fast. Which is a silly. Gonna need my hands here. Oh see they're fine now, they're at the top. See, yeah, it's just stupid. But they left. What is that? Just checking out the sound, sounds very good. Might as well save it. Shame I can't run by pressing in the left analog stick. Didn't let me save it. Okay, I guess I've got to go to the to there and do Dawn's grasp or oh, you know, spawn over there. Yes. Okay, just checking how long it's been.
you defeated a Thunderjaw? That's what you sent me to do. We sent you for answers. Have the machines stopped coming through the settlement? Well, then I guess I found your answers too. Possibly. Adele? These components were made by the old ones. These. These were made by an Osirum tinker. An Osirum? And yet Eric went to Mother's Tears and Nora territory. Mother's Tears is a settlement in Valley Mead. The Nora abandoned it during the Red Raids. The Nora can't be behind this, can they? The Nora are far too superstitious about the old ones to touch a device like this. And what is that device? It's a high-frequency wireless communication system. A beacon, but for machines. So, that's why Avad Spymaster came all the way out here. You knew you'd find this. I didn't know. I feared. And decisions shouldn't be based on fear. Facts should lead us. So try sharing some facts. The few small lures I've seen have the power to attract only a handful of machines from close by. But this, if there are more of them, then this is a threat to the whole sun. And you think it's a good idea to say all that in front of a shadow Karja? When I found that lure, it was connected to the old one's rooms, to a big metal bowl. Could that have made this lure more powerful? But why did Urid ignore the lure and follow whoever it is back to Nora territory? What's so important about these people? You served in Mother's Tears, didn't you, Reyes? I served where I was sent. Yes, I served there. Then you know the land. The wounds of the Red Raids are still fresh for the Nora. Valley Meat would be an extremely dangerous place for a Shadow Kaja to go. Though, if Urid felt these people were important enough to pursue, we must too. Go on for your brother, for the value you made to the Sundom, or for yourself. But her face, I do not like her. I mean, she's kind of okay. Still don't like her. He's all right. He just needs me. Only if he'll betray me. See, actually, he moves back. Okay. and find Orid as a free man. First, I'll need to make a rope dart. That's the only way I'm going to cross the bridge into that settlement. Okay. That's it. Okay, now I've got to put the rope around here, I think. I have to wind the handle binding. Keep winding. Thank God for the physics not being too strict with this. I can't remember what the expansion was called for the first one, which was in the frozen wasteland or something like that. Whatever they've got planned for those machine rooms can't be good. This looks very good as well, very nice, very beautiful. Guess I gotta shoot down something up and I can jump across. But can I? I'll ignore it for now. I'm going to something there. Maybe we could shoot there, shoot an arrow there, and I'll see. Oh, that 
the new thing that I got. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up for today. So this has been gameplay part five. Ooh, what does he? I don't know if you'll see my progress if I can get it from there. Oh yes, that felt good. Yeah, shame I'm not this good in real life archery. I have tried it. I want to say twice before a little bit and oh my god I'm much better at shooting a gun in real life than I am Vartry I was so hard so much so tiring on the arm as well just straight away like the gun wasn't that bad but yeah I'm gonna wrap up now this gameplay oh I'm gonna climb up there there we go yeah gameplay part 5 for Horizon Call of the Mountain if you like to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one bye bye